let's walk through how to perform a wisdom lot step by step we start by running an sdsk gel and go ahead with the transfer step i'm doing a wet transfer so i start by layering the cassette from the black side with foam and then the filter paper now be very gentle by placing the gel because it's fragile and can tear easily then place either the nitrocellulose or pvdf membrane covering the gel completely most important is to not touch the membrane directly even with gloves use a forcep and handle only at the edges layer at last again with filter paper and foam use a roller or a falcon tube to remove air bubbles this step is super important clamp the cassette and place it into an electrode unit remember run towards right and since we want to transfer the protein from gel to the membrane the gel is on the black side and the membrane is on the red side I am setting up an overnight transfer at 150 milliampere in the cold cabinet. Next day, we check the pre-stain marker. If it's visible on the membrane, the transfer has worked. I trim the membrane by placing it between a sheet and mark the ladder using a ballpoint pen. This helps during imaging. Now, block the membrane using 3% BSA or low-fat milk for one hour with gentle rocking. Time for the primary antibody. I'm using a pentahis antibody that binds specifically to my histide protein. Incubate for an hour at room temperature or overnight, depending on the antibody. Then wash with TBST and incubate with secondary antibody. It should be specific to the host of your primary. In my case, it's an anti-mouse secondary antibody. Repeat the washing step. Now to develop the blot, add the chemiluminescent reagent. Mix equal part of these and pour over the blot under a chemidoc. Finally, expose and capture the signal, and that's your Western blot done right.